Just eight months away from local elections, the DPP has yet to decide if it will field a candidate in the Taipei mayoral race. President Tsai Ing-wen, who also heads the DPP, said last night the party could finish third in Taipei if it fielded a candidate. Many saw that as a sign she wants to cooperate with sitting independent mayor Ko Wenzhe again this year, upsetting DPP mayoral hopeful lawmaker Yao Wenzhe. Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhe attended an event with a group of young people to announce the city's talent cultivation plan, his latest gambit to appeal to young voters. He had little to say when asked about President Tsai's apparent inclination to support Ko in the year-end Taipei mayoral race as she did in 2014. <coughs> but a potential DPP candidate in Taipei, lawmaker Yao Wenzhe, was not happy that Tsai might let Ke represent the DPP-led Pan Green camp in the election. As for our position, if the DPP nominates a candidate and is united and determined, the DPP will at worst finish second and could win. If I represent the DPP in the race, I'm confident I'll definitely win this election. Ke was also asked, meanwhile, about Taipei's sudden decision to tear down alliance of referendum for Taiwan tents that have been standing outside the legislature for years. Let's see if, step by step, we can't do everything according to the rules. If the law is wrong, then we should amend the law. But when there's a law, we should follow it. I've been reconsidering my actions. I've been mayor for three years, and we haven't done anything about those tents outside the legislature's walls all those three years. I think actually that's not right. We should build up, step by step, a country governed by the rule of law. To some observers, however, Ko's change of heart, suddenly taking a hard line after more than three years in office, seems more like a ploy to pick up extra votes in the year-end election.